hi there a very good morning and good afternoon to all of you depending on wherever you're watching me this simply stocks with another video and this time this video is the holy special so happy holy to all of you and today i'm going to bring you five mid and small cap companies yes mid and small cap companies that i feel could do well over the next four or five years and one can look at them and analyze them from a four or five year perspective uh, next one year could be extremely volatile uh, for the index so uh, it's not a call for the next six months or one year but next five years could be extremely good for these companies and basically i'll explain my criteria as to why i have chosen them etc so let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation people taking any position to any share that i talk about should that with their own due diligence and research and i'm not in favor or against any company that i talk about I'm not a member of the NSC and BSC and that I'm not a portfolio advisor. Uh, whatever decision with respect to investments in any asset class that you take, kindly do consult your financial advisor and then take a call. Remember that any investment into the markets is laden with market risk. So kindly take that on note. Before I talk about uh, these companies, as my requests, can you support me on Patreon? Once you do that, help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions, seek out answers in greater detail. Once you get that $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list, and number of podcasts I put up from time to time. And also, you'll have you you can ask me queries on number of aspects with respect to markets, industries, etc. And we discuss about industry aspects, global economy, etc. On uh, on our channel on Patreon. Uh, uh, probably if you are if it is possible become a member on patreon or whatsapp uh, that will be better uh, for you over a course of time rather than a uh, youtube i might just discontinue a youtube membership so now let's get going so these are the five companies i'll, I'll just tell you the companies because if anybody who wants to just stop the video and do not want to go further so i don't want to make it a suspense or anything power mac projects uh, from the infrastructure space from the cap goods space alchem labs from the pharma space kpit technology from the it space Keynes technology from the ems space and bkg foods from the consumer food domain uh, uh, so basically my, my uh, reasons for choosing these companies there were one or uh, two three aspects that I put up so they should be profit making companies growing uh, reasonably well above 15 20 percent on the sales front above 20 30 percent on the profit front and they should be in in a domain which which we are able to understand and the business is uh, pretty robust in that sense and the and the most important part is they should have corrected and the valuations are reasonable enough to start investing now uh, rather than uh, looking to probably buy at lower levels. And so that was the most important reason why I picked these because there are other companies that are looking good but the valuations are stressed so much that it's very difficult uh, to look at them. Uh, case in point is a company that has a tie up with Nvidia and that is trading at around 120, 150 times in fact. So we are trying to avoid them. Uh, I have analyzed and, and there are other companies that have corrected but these companies have a robust business model and have been doing well one quarter here and there have not been according to what market expectation was and that's why the uh, stock has fallen plus there has been a mid cap small cap sell off so the stock has fallen that was the only reason and that's why these are opportunities from a three to five year perspective to get into these companies i'm not putting up any targets here but the returns could be pretty reasonable above nifty levels that's that's what i feel in these companies so let's go one by one let's let's just analyze power mac projects so basically power mac projects was incorporated in 99 it is an engineering and construction company providing integrated services in erection testing and you can say movement of products and, and large amount of you can say goods and services from one place to another it provides all sorts of you can say mechanics and mechanisms uh, for the same a uh, uh, small cap company in that 7000 8000 crore market cap company it has fallen in this uh, fall that we saw in the last two weeks and that's why uh, this company has come to the radar now there's one caveat here is that it is a slightly liquid kind of a company so when it falls it falls big time 
five seven percent but it goes up and goes up pretty decently as well now another disclaimer i want to make here is that a couple of these companies power mac projects as well as uh, so power mac kpit and canes technology is in my trading portfolio so these three are in my trading portfolio that's a disclaimer but from an investment point of view these look good i'm not investing into any of these companies because i'm trading with whatever capital i have from a one month, two month, three months perspective, but from a long term point of view, they do look good. If I had capital, I would have uh, probably looked at them and invested some money into them. So, uh, Power Mac projects trading at 31 times currently. Uh, if we look at the numbers, then you'll have an understanding as to why I believe that this, this could be big over the next four or five years. And then I want to state one more point here. I am taking uh, the perspective that the government should continue after uh, the elections and that's where all these uh, you can say investments would uh, make uh, would make for uh, uh, better returns over the next five years otherwise i would say pharma chemicals and probably large cap it could do well if if uh, the government doesn't come into power or or, or there is a lesser seeds that come in etc but as far as uh, the numbers are concerned and as far as what what is the current ground situation it feels like that the government should continue uh, with the majority and and so i believe capital goods and all the policy initiative that the government is taking should continue and in that regard power mac should end up doing well so if you look at the quarterly numbers on power mac 1100 crores of sales in december versus 909 crores so that is a 20 22 percent growth year on year then if you look at on profitability front 11 percent margin in december 22 101 crores was the profit versus 133 crores this time around which 12 percent uh, margins and eventually if i say profit before tax because taxes were different in december last year it was 27 percent this time around 41 percent so let's take profit before tax so it was around 69 crores this time around versus 105 crores sorry 105 crores this time around versus 69 crores that's a pretty good jump of around 50 percent on the profit front and that's why i believe that once uh, the government is formed again and there are more projects in line uh, this sort of margins and profitability should take the stock even higher and this pe of 30 31 could even expand further over the next two to three years so if if i look at it on a pe basis also it has dropped from around 35 times uh, to around 30 31 times and yes on a five year basis 12 times has been the pe uh, on a three year basis 20 times has been the pe uh, on an average and it is slightly stretched on that part but industry wise whatever is happening in the industry if you look at pa comparison etc the median p is around 35 36 if you see here so it is reasonably priced that's what i can say numbers are pretty good i believe march there should be continuity of what sort of the numbers have been uh, over the last three four quarters uh, if we go to the balance sheet again the company has very less borrowings good reserves on card if you look at uh, cash conversion cycle that's pretty stable around 90 days and if you look at shareholding as well you have promoted shareholding of 60 percent uh they have four percent fii holding 18 18 and a half percent dii holding and just about 16 percent uh you can say public shareholding so not huge public shareholding at the moment which is which is quite positive fii's are in there and they have not sold much so from five percent in march of 23 they are in december of uh, sorry 23 uh, they are around 4.3 percent so not, not a lot of drop in fact in the last two quarters they have added so power my projects is my first pick from the uh, construction epc or you can say capital goods space second stock in this list is alchem labs now alchem labs had an issue with a, a raid income tax raid or ed raid or something of that sort about two weeks three weeks back and the stock fell but it has not gone down a lot after that uh, now 57,000 crore good mid cap company it is at a pe of 34 it has come out with very strong numbers from it is from the farmer domain and 
very strong API business in the US and Europe. Uh, the company has come out with decent numbers over the last two, three quarters, but the stock has fallen. So if one can probably take a call in here, is that the fact that you can probably buy in simulations of 20% on, on further declines, keep on adding. If you look at the numbers, 3,300 crores of sales in December of this year versus 3,000 crores. So that's around 10% growth on the sales front. On the profit front from 600 crores, the profit has grown to 700, 710 crores. And that's where lies uh, lies uh, the uh, the magic part is that they have grown by 17% on the profit front with 10% growth in the sales front. This is because of margin expansion. So margins from 20% has grown to 21%. So now the margins are looking stable in the last two quarters at around 22, 21, 22%. Remember that most of the pharma companies are not doing that well whereas Elchem is is one of the few that are doing well on the results front and that's why they are uh, getting the premium that they are deserving so eventually the on the profit uh, on the net profit front as well 604 crores of net profit versus around 460 crores was pretty decent enough again if you look at balance sheet being a pharma company very strong reserves uh, in there uh, in terms of ratios, cash conversion cycle has remained up and down, but at 170 uh, days, it's not stretched, not extremely good, but not stretched either. In terms of shareholding pattern, 56% is with the promoters, 8.5% with FIIs, and FIIs have increased stake in the December quarter. That's pretty interesting. And public shareholding, uh, sorry, DII holding has dipped. Public shareholding has remained stable around 19%. But this is pretty good shareholding pattern in which you have FII and DII in reasonable amount. So again, a stock that has gone down, it's around 4,800 from a high of 5,500. It's already down 15% from the top. And so reasonably at, at reasonable supports, once it is above 20 DMA, then, then sorry, 50 DMA, then really one can look at above 5,000, 5,020. But even at these levels, one can accumulate. Third in this list is KPIT technology. Very interesting. I, I saw this about four or five days back. I taken a trading position as well. But uh, the reason for that has been the kind of fall that the stock has seen. So 1330 has been the recent low in this week. And from 1760 to 1330, if I, if I take that, then uh, we are looking at a fall of somewhere around... 25% from the top. That's a pretty decent decline from the top. We are very close to the 200 DMA with the kind of results and commentary that the company has. I will not be surprised in the next five years if it if it does extremely well. Now, uh, if the EV thing really, you can say, dies down and the sales of EV dies down, etc., it's a different thing altogether. But uh, uh, I believe that this is only going to pick up over a five year period. Maybe a one year lull could be there and that's why the selling is taking place. Uh, but if you look at it uh, on the results front, absolutely strong numbers, 1260 crores of sales versus 917. Another, you can say 35, 40% growth on the sales front. On the profit front from 84 crores, a net profit has jumped to 157 crores. That's a 90% jump if I'm not wrong. Uh, on the net profit front 86 87 percent so strong very strong numbers yes it is trading at 70 times earnings but if i take uh, say uh, fy24 numbers and then extrapolate it to fy25 so let me just calculate that and then you'll be able to understand so if i take eps and if i say they'll do five point uh, say six point one three or something like that in the final They'll do around 21.8 rupees of EPS. Based on that, at around 1360 or 1380, from 21.8, it's trading at around 63, 64 times, which is not expensive for a company growing at 40 percent uh, on the sales front. Company growing at 40, 50 percent on the profit front, trading at 63 times. FY24 earnings, which is just immediate. Now, if I extrapolate those numbers, say if it even grows by 40% next year, goes to around 30, 30.5 rupees EPS, then at 1380, at 30.5, it 
they're just trading at 45 times so not very expensive at all trading at 45 times fy25 earnings uh if you look at the pe the norm pe has been 51 52 on a five year basis on a three year basis it has been 62 63 so very reasonably priced at the moment i believe that most people who wanted to buy this when it was going up went to 1700 1750 um, this is the time to start accumulating even if it falls five seven percent keep on adding more that's my understanding over the next five years it should give you decent returns third in this list is Keynes tech but before that let me just give you an idea of the uh, shareholding pattern so let me just go to shareholding pattern of kpit so 39 and a half percent with the promoters which has always been low but FII's hold around 26 and a half which is which has increased substantially continuously from june 22 so from 16 percent to 17 percent then 20 23 and a half 26 it remained around 26 and now 26 and a half it has not gone down at all uh dii holding has remained stable at 11.6 and public share holding is around 21 percent at the moment so uh, that's how uh, kpit is panned out in which there is decent amount of fia holding in there so very reasonable reasonably uh, priced at the moment at 38,000 pro market cap fourth in the list as i mentioned is keynes technology it is in the ems domain electronic manufacturing and and basically they are not only into uh, electronic products uh, uh, that we use in in at home but also into uh, defense equipments and other kind of products and as well uh, and that's why they have a higher you can say a PE with that regard and, and valuations uh, are trading at around 10 11 times uh, sales versus their peers now it's uh, it's around 2800 in this fall it came to 2500 2480 2500 a qip was done in which the price was around 2420 so we are about 15 18 percent higher from there uh this was the kind of a low around near about 2600 that that the company made uh why do i like this company is because of their kind the growth yes the uh, valuations is stretched but it has come down from the very lofty valuation that we had about a month month and a half back uh, look at the kind of numbers in december quarter 509 crores of sales versus 289 crores of sales that that is just stupendous uh margins of 14 percent maintained from 41 crores of operating profit to 70 crores that is a huge jump so that's around that's around 70 percent 70 percent jump on the operating profit and on the net profit front And the company maintains that they're going to have 50, 45, 50 percent growth over the next three, four years. That is what has given me confidence that this company could do extremely well. Uh, 420 to 450 crores of profit is what the company is envisaging uh, in the next three years, three, four years. Currently, they are doing around 150, 160 crores. Uh, that's the kind of growth that we are talking about the eps could triple from here could go to 70 rupees or even higher around 65 rupees sorry 60 to 65 rupees by that time uh, so very interesting very interesting kind of business in which such kind of uh, growth is coming in now it is currently trading at 98 times fy24 earnings fy24 which is just immediate so on immediate terms it's trading at uh, 98 times not 125 times 120 times because the numbers should be pretty strong uh, for uh, the uh, last quarter so they are going to come up with something like 28.4 rupees of eps so in that on that basis 98 98 and a half times and if i take a 50 percent growth on that uh then we are looking at 42.6 rupees of eps and based on that at 2800 rupees is trading at very reasonable valuations of 65 66 times so that's why i see massive upside but do not go all whole hog straight away into the stock probably buy in tranches over the next uh, few months and then eventually you'll have very good price uh, to hold for the next four five all again on the balance sheet front no debt whatsoever 
uh, on the ratios front cash conversion cycle is, has increased a bit but around 160 days or so on, and on shareholding front they did a QIP etc and eventually they have around 58% by themselves 12.7% is with the FIIs, 19% is with DIIs and only 10%, 10.4% is public shareholding. Again, public shareholding is less. This is where people need to get in and, and make money because the company is growing so much. Uh, keep relevant stop losses on all your trades, whatever uh, stocks you get into, but uh, gains look good. The fifth in this list and it's a drag horse at that is Bikaji Foods uh, came out with a little bit of uh, you can say below expectation numbers in the December quarter but the stock has also declined from around 600 rupees it has gone to 490 so it has declined by around 20 percent uh, another four or five percent fall from here say around 460 470 if you can get the stock around 460 ish like here at around 458 it was in October 23 if you can get it around there then nothing like it so keep on accumulating from there why i'm saying that is that if you look at on the pe basis the stock is trading at around 63 times whereas on the on since its inception it has been on an average trading at around 75 80 times so it is it has come to reasonable levels now if you look at the uh, numbers it was not that bad they were not that bad so in december what they did on a consolidated front they did 625 crores of sales versus 508 which was pretty decent 20-22% sales growth year on year on the profit front uh, they did a margin of 12% versus 14% in September that that is what spooked them uh, the market that from 13-14% the margins had dipped to 12% but the management has maintained that the margins will be in the region of 12-15% to 15 for the foreseeable future so it was on the lower end but not very bad so 12 percent margin versus 11 percent last year in december and eventually uh, a net profit of around 46 crores versus 40 crores or, or you can say profit before tax of 62 crores versus 52 crores which was just a 20 percent growth not that great and that's why the stock fell uh, I believe that around 450 there is extreme value because the numbers should improve going forward with the kind of consumption that people have. Second thing is because of the inflation there is a lot of pressure on their raw material cost, uh, sugar etc and many other factors uh, whatever raw material that goes into uh, making of all their bhujia and other kind of sweets and so on so forth. So this is the time to really get in. This is a very good company in a very difficult sectoral environment not that the sector is bad at all but the environment is not that conducive because of the inflationary pressure once this uh, reverses over the next couple of years i'm sure that cycles always reverse so over the next five years the company should end up doing well if even if i look at from market cap to sales front it's trading at 5.6 times which is less than its five year average and the sales should continue to grow even year on year they have been growing at 20 percent so in the march quarter i believe that uh, they are going to do somewhere 10 percent lesser than this so around 550 crores or so so if if i take purely on the sales front then i am looking at uh, the company doing somewhere around uh 2265 and uh, uh plus 25 so 2290 crores of sales this year and the company is currently uh, at a market cap of 12,200 crores and 2,300. Let's round everything up. So then we are talking 5.3 times. Currently, the stock is trading at 5.3 times sales. And if I extrapolate that with around 22% growth next year, then 2,800 uh, crores of sales is what they are going to do. And the market. Based on that, they are trading at only four, four and a half times. So if the numbers keep on improving, if the margins slightly improve over the next couple of years, the company should end up doing well. Now, what is most interesting in in BKG is the shareholding pattern. Seventy five percent is with the promoters. FII hold around six point nine percent. 
a DII hold around 14% and there's only 4% public share holding. Public share holding is reduced even further to around 4% which is quite interesting and that's why probably the stock is not falling that much. So overall in these five companies I believe are going to give you very decent returns over the next five years. That's my understanding. So this was a video on uh, the five companies, the holy special. Please like and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, so you can get my videos straight away when I post it. And kindly support me on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching.